Hi, this is Nikki Woods, and we are going beyond the studio with comedian Lonnie Love and newly uh, co-host, newly named co-host of the Tom Joyner Morning For the Show. B team. <laughs> but that's okay. The team still plays. Oh, I was holding it down with Skip Cheatham. I, I was happy, Skip, because he knows what he's doing. I was just sitting there eating bacon and, and drinking coffee, and you were telling us what to do. But I've had a fabulous week with you guys. I feel honored. Thank you, Tom, for letting me just come in and have a little moment. Yes, thank you. <laughs> But what I did know is that you're also an author. I have a new book coming out in July. It's called Love Them or Leave Them, But Don't Get Stuck with the Tab. And it's a comedy relationship advice book. And it's about, it's funny stories about me, but it's also questions that women have. Mm -hmm. And I answer it in my Lonnie type of way. Because people think I'm looking for a man. First of all, I got plenty of men. See, the way, like, <laughs> I was on... I was on the, on the show this yeah. week. What I had, what I did was I had Skip to actually, you know, put it out there that I was looking, looking for a man. man. And um, I got all kind of responses. So, see, that's how you do it, girls. When you have opportunity to meet somebody different, take that opportunity and just put it out there. So do you think that we don't talk about it enough? Like that we're we ashamed if we don't yeah. have a man to say, can you hook me up? You got yeah. a friend? That yeah, because it, it appears like we're desperate, but it's not that. I mean, the one thing that especially I feel like women of color, we think that the, we're supposed to wait for the man to come to us. But if you don't put it out there, put out the positive vibes, put out the vibes that, hey, I am available, then they don't know. So I feel like any opportunity, whether it's through friends or through the Internet, um, through your job, and this is my job. So it's like, hey, if there's some available men out there, y'all give a sister a holler. holler. <laughs> but you know what I think? And you probably get this question a lot, too, because there are a lot of really um, um, successful you know, women that are looking for men. And they're always like, well, men are too afraid to approach me and they mm -hmm. don't say anything to me. How do you, in being a successful woman yourself, how do you make yourself more approachable? How do you let a man know that you're 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 open to him talking? To well, you? first of all, you, you have to have that confidence, but you also have to let a man be a man. I mean, there are certain things that you could do to let a man know that you're open and available. But throwing you know? them over your shoulder and taking them yeah, home. Yeah, now, now them that's <laughs> what I used to do, Nikki. I used to, you know, this 240 would grab it <laughs> <laughs> just throw that little man on my shoulder keep it going you know but you 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 have to have confidence and it's not you know if you notice that a man may need a little encouragement mm -hmm. that's what men like but then you know how to pull back yeah. a real woman knows when to pull back and if he's really interested he'll go for it you know I mean there's we I think nowadays we need to let men be men yes we work and we're career-minded women but the purpose of being with the man is so that the man can help take care of you and you can help take care of him. So let him do his part. Let him do his role. Oh, you know? I'm willing. Oh, I'm willing okay. To let him do step up. <laughs> I'm joking. So what is the most surprising question that women ask you that you've answered in your book? The most surprising question I got, uh, basically, um, that they don't make time. Like if they have children, they don't know how to make time um, from taking care of the children to actually going out and dating. Mm -hmm. And I answer that in my book because there are certain steps that you can take to make sure, because your children are important first. Right. But there are certain steps that you can take that you can still date or you can still find dates and you can still be the mother that, you know, you're supposed to be. And what are those steps? A babysitter? They have to get the book to see. <laughs> no, the, no, come on, you got to give us something. Love them or leave them, but don't get stuck with the tab. It's on pre-order right now. Amazon.com, iTunes. I see you looking. And yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's a lot of good information in there because I worked really, really hard. But like some, I mean, to answer your question, like one thing that you can do is commit to a one night to yourself. Yeah. Get you a, a, a babysitter or have your mama to watch the kids and commit, even if it's just once a month, that you go out and you spend some growing up adult time. Sometimes we get so caught up in our children. Yes. And then what happens is as they get older, they start getting a little more independent. And then you may feel like, wow. I'd have sacrificed all this, all this time, time to raise yeah. them and now they don't want me. So what you have to do is balance that out. Get you a girl's night, you know. Mm -hmm. Some that don't overdo it. Some of y'all be going out <laughs> three times a week. Don't now hold up, sister, you know. But do commit some time to yourselves to have an adult time and then that way you can, you can afford yourself to meet somebody. What do you say to those women who are like, okay, well I'm getting older, I haven't been married, I don't mm -hmm. have any kids, time is running out. What about finding love later in life? Well, it's nothing first of all you have to change your mind you know
know, your whole thought process. Right. You're never too old for anything. I mean, it's evident. Look at Halle Berry. Halle Berry having babies at 47. She don't care, you know, because right. she takes control of herself. So it's never too late. All you have to do is that if it's something that you want to look forward to, you have to write out some goals and write out some plans, and you have to work towards those. But always think in the positive. Always, I mean, depending on if you're a spiritual person, you know, you know that God has something in store for you, you know, so you have to make plans. I think we're uh, embarrassed to make plans. We're embarrassed to ask for help. If you know that you're looking for a special someone, you can find, you know, ask your friends, go online. It's all kind of resources out there to find men. It's not just in the jails. But <laughs> that's a good population there. No, I'm just joking. So you can follow Lottie Love on Twitter. You're on yes. Facebook. She's writing articles for magazines. Yes. Podcasts, radio shows. Yes. What are you not doing? You know what? Uh, uh, exercising <laughs> enough. <laughs> That's that's the only thing I'm not doing, but I plan I work on that too. So and and like I said, this is just a wonderful opportunity working for you guys. Tom Joyner Morning Show, I have grown up on, so it is an honor for me to stand in. Anytime y'all need me, just give me a call. And Skip Cheatham was the best. Yes. Seriously, he kept me in line. I tell you that. But if he wasn't married, whoo. yeah, but he is very married. Let me say I that because I'm not going down with Lonnie. <laughs> <laughs> You can edit that yeah. out. <laughs> but we're not. It's Nikki Woods. We have gone beyond the studio with comedian Lottie Love and woman of many hats. She wears many hats. But it's been a pleasure. You can log on to see more, but not that much more, on blackamericaweb.com.